Hey everybody, welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. We're at chapter 11 now. The Justice Minister's daughter has been abducted. The kidnappers demand the execution of death row prisoner Chow to be carried out tonight. Lin says the execution is a mistake, and I believe her. And so I'm paying the kidnappers hideout a visit so I can see what I can find out about the abduction. Stick to his white beauty, my dear. They had that restaurant surrounded. It took me forever to shake them, and now my poor bike is ready for the scrap heap. Next time, maybe you should make it a tricycle, and so you don't hurt yourself. Ouch, that hurts, beauty, but that's okay. That's what I love about you. Be a little more gentle with our valuable hostage, please. Yes, yes, always keep a smile on a lady's face, right, my dear? There, see that, beauty? Now there's a smile blooming on your face, too, my dear. Yes, a wry smile. I'm going out for a breath of fresh air. You're on guard duty. No, right, I'll dream of you until you return. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? I will, beauty. I was just taking a little breather. All right, little lady, let me open that trunk for you. Beauty. Looks like the justice minister's daughter really has been kidnapped, and something else is bothering me too. I don't think I've ever been to this room before, but something about it is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. I've seen something like this before. Taking something precious to manipulate others. So that's what kidnapping is. The dirty tricks those without powers of the dead come up with. However, if I take that precious thing back, their power vanishes, doesn't it? Now then, time to see how the Justice Minister's little girl is doing before this guy wakes up from his dream of beauty. Guess he was being serious about... about dreaming about her. Ha ha! can't reach my destination from here. suspended by very thin cords, and they look like they're about to break. I bet it'd be quite a spectacle if it fell. If something can break, it kind of reminds, it kind of makes me want to break it. Can't do anything with this, okay. But it kind of looks like there's a path to bring the fire over to this candle. one of those things you light with a fire, isn't it? As long as there's light in the room, is something like this really necessary? But if something can be lit, it kind of makes me want to light it. I need another core to reach the trunk and open it. I wonder if I can create a new core. Okay. I can't 
can't possess the light switch. Hmm. Bring the ball down. Let's see what I can do with this. Well, not enough, <laughs> obviously. This will probably blow the ball back. it when it's up. Hmm. Just my imagination. Just my imagination. That's all he has to say? What an amazingly simple fellow. This room, on the other hand, is starting to look amazingly festive. Question is, how can I use it to my advantage? Got more party poppers. Let's decorate the place a little more. Just my imagination. If it was any more laid back, you'd fall right off that crate. But look at that streamer go spinning round and round. How can I make use of that? Uh, possess it. Hmm. Gonna have to make use of that later. For some reason, I get the urge to burn something. Unfortunately, everything is just out of this flame's reach. I know what to do. Candle is lit. Imagination. Do 
got a pretty good setup in there. What in the? What's going on here? This lady is... This lady is... Really? Is this little lady really the, a daughter of the just blah, 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 the justice minister? It's just my imagination. Blah. What's with the fun book and juice? Like I said, always keep a smile on a lady's face. I wanted to treat our guest well. How about treating me well? I'd like some bread and milk, please. At your service, my dear. Be back in a flash. Hey, mister. Yes, cute little lady. More juice, perhaps? All you have to do is ask. Have I been kidnapped? Don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know, but just we just ask for a little patience. Don't say those awful things about this house. This house is where I used to live. What? I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. What's the meaning of this beauty? Why here at this girl's old house? Don't ask me. It was the other party in our deal who chose this location. Oh, oh, I see. It's been empty for five years, and apparently nobody ever comes here. But never mind about that. What about my bread and milk? Oh, of course. Now you be a good little girl while I'm gone. You just read your book and drink your juice. I want to go home. Not quite yet. This dilapidated place was Camilla's old house? What's going on here? What in the world? Why does this lady, little lady have a core of the dead? When I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean... She must have died sometime after that. It also means somebody else must have saved her. I better ask her what happened. Who's there? Oh, wait a minute. Is that you, Missile? Missile? I'm sorry, I'm not Missile. My name's Sissel. Sissel? My name is Camilla. Camilla. So it is her. I knew it. What happened to me? What is this place? I can hardly tell the point poor little thing that this is the land of the dead. The land of the dead? Does that mean I'm dead? Darn, I forgot there's no secrets in the ghost world. You can relax, you're not dead. But this isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. Really? I don't remember. Wait a minute, maybe I do remember, sort of. You do? Looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well. Hmm, so there's some dead person out there with special powers, eh? Anyway, I don't want to press her if she doesn't remember dying. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about something else? Sure, go ahead, sissy. Sissy, huh? Hmm. Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. I know about that part. She asked me to go the to the kitchen... <laughs> chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Yeah, but I never got there. And I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. I never should have gone through that park. What park? Tesmic Temsic Park. It's a shortcut to Dead End Drive. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah, Lynn always said, I don't like that park. Scary things happen there. Temsic Park, eh? What am I gonna do? Lynn is gonna be mad. She is? How come? Because I left it there. The music box in the park. That's right, the music box. That music box was hidden in the apartment. I finally found it with a little bit of luck and courage. Guess where it was? Hmm, I don't know where. Pretend I don't know. You know. You don't have to humor me. Oops. So what happened to the music box? I hid it in the bushes in the park just before it happened. Just before... Oh, just before you kidnapped, huh? I didn't want the bad man to take it, so I hid it. I bet it's still there in the park. You did well. So the music box is in the park. I better let Lynn know. 
This is your old house? Yep, this is where we lived until five years ago. But now I live with Lynn and Missile. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yep, she's a detective, you know. She's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, about your father. Is he the justice minister? My father is gone. Gone? He passed away. No, that's not it. My dad. He's going to die, and it's all because of me. What? What do you mean, because of me? Why would you say that? It's called an execution. My dad is a detective. No way. Don't tell me your father is Detective Jowd. That's right. What in the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream, but it wasn't a dream. Five years ago. A murder case. It was Mom's birthday that day. My mom and dad were working and I was home by myself. And I had an idea. I was gonna surprise my mom. I set up that contraption. I'm home, Camilla. Why is it dark? that noise? I still can't believe it happened. It wasn't supposed to work like that. Hmm, I know that contraption. And I know how it was supposed to work. Party poppers and a cake. A birthday message. My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. to be executed. He asked them for it. But I wanted to tell everybody it was my fault. My dad said what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. This is also unbelievably tragic. I can't believe it. This little lady is Detective Get Jowd's daughter? I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Why was I kidnapped? I want to know! Oops. There are no secrets in the ghost world. Maybe we'd better stop talking. It's too dangerous. Sissy, you're not going to talk to me anymore? I think we'd better get you out of here first. Then we can talk more after that. Okay, but I'm going to rescue you now. Just hold on a little longer, all right? Okay, but we'll talk later, right? Don't forget, you promised, Sissy. the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my dear. But it's late and all the shops are closed. We're leaving this place right now. What? But he's not here yet. If we couldn't meet at the restaurant, weren't we supposed to meet here? Yes, and the one who... And he's the one who chose this location. Hmm, I don't like this one bit. We have to run around doing all this extra work all for the sake of his deal. Be quiet. It can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you, my sixth sense is very strong. All right, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. I sense something here, in this room. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? Is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know. The next time I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. All right, we're leaving. Pardon me, little lady. All of a 
sudden, I'm left behind alone. Alone in that room that, the, that stole the little lady's smile away five years ago. The little lady is gone now, leaving me with a few new facts. A few very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lynn know about all this? One thing stands out in my mind. I can sense your presence. The sum of that kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do those kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? Alright, so that is the end of this chapter. Join us next time, uh, next week on Tuesday and Thursday for the new Ghost Trick chapters. Um, it'll be, yeah, there's at least five more chapters to do, so we'll be doing this for a little while. We have more Sea of Stars tomorrow. We just got a new party member in that game, so that's exciting. And then we have a uh, new episode of the new game Tardy that I've been doing over the weekend on Saturday. Then on Sunday, it's back to Dondoko Island for some tropical adventures, setting up a resort. So, hope you enjoy, and uh, catch you next time.